MCs first, it's sick. So you get a shout out when you're first. Nice, Age of the Wolf came in second and said, it piss. The first two people said, it's sick, it piss. That's fucking awesome. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, so Big J's back in Florida. Any piss jugs? No. But uh, there will be in the morning. I throw, I throw out my piss jugs every morning. A lot of times I put my piss jugs underneath my tire so that I flatten them out and spread piss everywhere. Conservative muscle, what's up, my man? Jay, your thoughts on matzo soup? I think it's excellent. I'm a big fan of almost all soups, um, especially a good hearty soup that has uh, protein in it. You know, soup is so easy to digest, um, you know, because it's, you know, it's basically mush. Um, that's why I think uh, a good hearty soup that either has beef or chicken in it is, 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 is great for, for weightlifting. Hair is looking thick and lustrous, says John Smith. Lustrous. Great word. How long are you staying in Florida? Um, not exactly sure yet. Um, I've still got to go down to Florida. I'm not, I'm not in South Florida right now. Um, I'm actually in North Florida. I've got a delivery tomorrow in Fort Myers. Then I'll be in... Um, Boca Raton tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to be training at Adam McLeod's gym. Maybe I'll run into him. I, I, I heard the other day on his live stream, he's all proud of himself because he thinks I can't work out anymore. Boy, would I love to run into him at his own gym. He's such a clown. How many people watch Adam's live streams? I mean, three? Jay, what great athlete is from Fort Myers? Oh, shit, I have no idea. Um, God, help me out. But it's just so funny when, when people send me clips of McLeod's live, you know, because I guess Chuck E. Cheese Ranch re-uploads them or something like that. And people just send me little clips. Deion Sanders, okay. Um, people send me clips. And McLeod acts like he's talking to a fucking audience. And, you know, it's like he's probably the, the three people that are watching his live stream are probably troll accounts of his that he has running on other devices. And he acts like he's answering um, people's questions. Give me a fucking break. That is so fake watching him a cloud live stream. People aren't asking him those questions. My comments keep disappearing. I hate that. Someone just said, usually two people in his stream, unfortunately. McLeod won't be training for much longer, though, laughing out loud. <clears throat> well, I, I really don't know what you mean by that. Elaborate. Which do you believe to be 
the most superior race. Well, take a look at before the races, you know, before, before the great explorers really went to Asia or went to Africa or, or went to the Americas, what races were using the wheel? The wheel and axle, basically. The wheel and axle are basically, to, to make a wheelbarrow or a cart, you, you basically have to use two, two inventions in one. Uh, it's basically a wheel and axle and a lever to make a wheelbarrow. And I don't think the, the American Indians had invented a wheelbarrow yet. I don't think Africans had invented a wheelbarrow yet. The, Asian, the, the Asians probably did. But, you know, Europeans were building great sailing ships in Africa, and Native Americans hadn't even made a fucking wheelbarrow yet. So. What's a wheelbarrow? I don't. A wheelbarrow is uh, basically a, a cart, but it's only got one one wheel. If you if you put if you put two axles and four tires on it, you got a cart. A, a cart is a more advanced wheelbarrow. Primitive man would have invented a wheelbarrow first. Then eventually he would have figured out that, you know what? If I put a second axle on here and, and invent a cart, I don't have to pick the goddamn thing up like a wheelbarrow. I can just pull it. So, I mean, I, I've seen recent fucking videos where people in Africa and people the, in the Caribbean are still carrying shit on their head. Genova's nickname is Two Cart. Yeah, because he only he goes out to the parking lot and only comes back with two grocery carts. Lefty Nero says, what are you doing in my town, boy? What town am I in? I just grabbed that uh, location as a suggestion. I, I have no idea. I don't know if my phone updated or not. I put some bar. Obviously, I'm not at a bar. I'm, I'm at a truck stop. Uh, but I don't even know if that's the same town that I'm in. Uh, no, I'm not in Boca. I'm going to be back in Boca for my for my vacation. Look at that fucking hair. I'm starting to look like Archie fucking Bunker. Is Obama half blood PM? Um I don't want you to ever use the term half blood on my live stream ever again. Let me explain something to you when it when it comes to mixing the races. If you've got a glass of white milk and you take Hershey's chocolate syrup and squirt in some Hershey's chocolate syrup stirred up with a spoon, there is no more white milk. All the white milk is gone. Gone. So when you say someone is half white, Think about my chocolate milk analogy. Once you make chocolate milk, there isn't any more white milk.
Think about it. If I pour you a nice glass of, of, of wonderful purified ice water, you got a glass of ice water. If I shoot a little bit of piss in there, you no longer have ice water. You have piss. The cuck technically beat you in a fight. Well, I mean, do you want to give the guy the W by default? I mean, I, I can't argue that. Whatever. Technically, it's a no contest because if we were going by boxing rules, I, I believe if you're medically unable to continue in the first three rounds, it's a no contest. And I've watched the videos. I, I don't, I'm not even sure McCuck ever landed a punch. I mean, if we didn't have gloves on, that guy would have been fucking on the ground, unconscious in about 10 seconds. So if he wants to claim he won that fight, let him have that glory really don't care. What happened to the Hellcat collab with Brother PJ? You know, PJ is a very busy man, businessman, reptile collector, snake charmer. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much, uh, I don't want to say I'm busy when I come home to Boca Raton, but, you know, I somewhat am. I mean, seems like it takes me about three days before I can actually relax. What, sorry, half black equals full IV, I6, 6ER. I don't know what the fuck that means. Legendary Dr. Rackpole, did you see my video on your fight? No, why don't you um, send it to me in a DM to my Detroit Diesel account. I'd love to watch it. Jay, come to Naples LA Fitness. I'm not going to have much time tomorrow um, after I make my delivery in Fort Myers. I'm going to I'm gonna hit the road and get to Boca as quick as I can. You got beat by a guy who wouldn't let sniff my underwear. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, my body pretty much self-destructed on me. That's what I get for fucking not doing any boxing training and just lifting weights like normal leading up to that fight. I should have quit lifting weights the last two weeks. I really should have. Who cares? I wasn't getting paid for it, so I wasn't going to fucking quit lifting weights. He doesn't understand that number language. Leave him alone. Yeah, I don't know what that fuck that meant. <sighs> Is that guy a PM that was saying that? It could have been the trend you were taking. I wasn't taking any trend when that happened. <clears throat> I, I'm pretty sure the day of the fight, the only steroid you would have been able to detect in my in my system would have been uh, a little bit of equipoise. Oh, I forgot I was doing test suspension. I think I was dehydrated. I think that's what happened. Doesn't matter. There's no excuses. I pulled a muscle. Doesn't matter what the reason was. Even though the misfits are broke up, you should do a podcast with Andrew and Lenny. 
I don't think Brad will let me use the podcasting equipment because technically that belongs to him. Ask Brad if I'm allowed to use the podcasting equipment. See what he says. Ask Jay if he cleans cream pies. No, but I have masturbated to cuckold porn. See, the the secret to cuckold porn is you gotta you gotta when you're watching some gorilla bang a hot wife and some little wimp watching it happen you have to time your orgasm perfectly so that you're ejaculating right after the gorilla comes inside uh, and then the hot wife says to the, the wimp husband now come over here and lick me clean that's when you want to blow your load because you don't ever want to watch the guy actually licking the fucking load. You want to come looking at the hot wife with the cream pie going like this. Now come over here and lick me clean. Boom, blow your load. That's how that's how you time it. Because if you're not ready to come yet and you actually start watching the wimp husband lick up the cream pie and then you blow your load that's 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 a little bit creepy Brickhouse Jim, I don't. Why are you saying that? I don't. I don't, I don't really have those thoughts at all. The Misfit subreddit got taken down again. I, how many times has it gotten taken down? Wait a minute. No, they're over on Ruckus now. I like how you're misspelling Brad's girlfriend's name so that so that your comment will show up. Because if, if you spell her name correctly, her name won't show up in the comments. <clears throat> I, I, I got a list of banned words on my account. Like um, the N-word. The... the the homosexual word that starts with an F, um, the, the R word um, for autism. Uh, I believe I have Brad, Valerie. Um, I've got my girlfriend's name, my mom's name. There, there's a list of words that won't show up in the comments. And people think I delete comments. I don't delete any comments. I just have a list of banned words. So if you're so stupid that you put one of those banned words in your comment, it won't show up. No, I heard I heard good things about Crunch Fitness.
nobody's really calling Brady a racist, are they? I guarantee you Tom Brady's not a racist. Which porn site is the best? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I know I just use X videos because um, X videos um, pretty much, you know, you're not going to catch a virus from X videos because those are all downloaded fucking um, clips. So uh, an X videos is pretty much going to handle any virus you know, before, before the shit gets posted. And I like X videos because when you do a search, you can put in keywords. Like I've said this before, like I like to put the word MILF and big tits, one word, big tits, MILF big tits before anything I want to see. Like if I want to watch cream pie videos, I'll go MILF, cream, MILF, big tits, cream pie. That way, every every cream pie video I see has a MILF with big tits. MILF big tits anal, MILF big tits gangbang, MILF big tits blowjob. Because I really don't, the reason I like to use the word MILF is I don't like seeing the girls that are in their early 20s they're not even fucking hot. They look like kids to me. And the, the reason I um, the reason I put in big tits, I'm, I'm not a big boob fetish guy. I just don't like seeing flat chested porn. I don't like seeing girls in their early 20s or 18 or 19 year olds. That's just disgusting. And um, I don't want to see flat chested porn. So if you put in MILF big tits, you're getting women not flat chested girls that are 18 19 20 21 you're getting girls that have put on a few pounds gotten the boob job fertilize me goddess that's disgusting fertilizer is shit Thoughts on Anytime Fitness. Hey, man, Anytime Fitness is great. I've been to Anytime Fitness um, that have fucking safety squat bars, chains, bands, all sorts of good shit. <clears throat> really depends. I carry three gym memberships. LA Fitness, Anytime Fitness, and Planet Fitness. So just about anywhere I'm at in the country, I'm going to be able to get in a workout. Now, if, if I'm somewhere where there's a really cool gym and I can go buy, pay for a daily fee, I'll gladly do that. I don't just rely on those three gyms. Anytime is a bit pricey, but whatever. They're, 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 they're all over the United States. They're 24 hours. Um, I've got private showers, you know, and, it, you know, for a trucker, you know, make, instead of, instead of showering at the truck stop, showering at any time fitness could be, you know, better. I'd rather shower at any time fitness than LA fitness or planet fitness at any time fitness. The shower rooms are private. So, I've also been to Anytime Fitness um, that have tanning beds. When are you going to delete your social media? Never. McCuck was kind enough to not put that in the contract. I think Brad talked him out of it. Jay, did you use cell tech back in the day? No, I I was um back in the day um, I didn't I didn't use MuscleTech products 
I was more into um, BSN. I really liked um, the uh, the old NO Explode. That shit was the bomb when it first came out. You look like Axe from Demolition. I look like a big fat turd with thin hair. Um, I need a total makeover. Is Kalura gay? Um, I don't think so. Has he committed homosexual um, acts? Yes, guaranteed. Um, so I, you know, I, I know you can't really ungay yourself. Like, you know, once you suck a dick or once you have a dick in your ass, you, you can't, you can't, you can't un, un, unpull a trigger or, or you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. You can't ever unkay yourself. But I really don't think he was born homosexual. And he's definitely not a homosexual now. So I don't know how to answer that. He's trying to blame it on gear. Uh, I, I don't care how much gear you're taking. You don't put a dick in your mouth or your asshole. Now, I have watched some tranny porn. Um, we were talking about X videos, how you can put in your keywords for your search. If you want to see some, if you want to just check out the tranny thing and not be creeped out by the dick or nuts, what you do is your two key search words are tranny blowjobs. Then you just see a real pretty female face, maybe some tits, sucking dick. You don't have to see fucking, you know, the, the, the cock and balls. So, tranny blowjobs I can watch. Any other preferred search terms? Um, I like gangbangs. Uh, I like I like fucking cream pies. Um, I like anal. Um, but I normally, in front of any of those, uh, I'll put a big tits milf or milf big tits. Can you turn Jimmy Ludd's back, Big J? I, I don't know. I haven't talked to Jimmy in a while. Jimmy is Jimmy is definitely a, a, a strange cat. Good guy, but a strange cat. Go to trapeze. I doubt trapeze. I think trapeze closed. Is conservative Cuban gay? No, definitely not. He's a family man. And he, he sticks with his family. He doesn't just uh, file for divorce when things get tough. Why did he call you Big Bear? I, he fucked up. I mean, Big Bear is obviously a, a homosexual, affectionate term you know, that the, the submissive male would, would call his dominant partner. But 
I don't think the Cuban knows that. He's not as he's not as disgusting as we are. How's the jam eating going? I, fucker, I, I, where's all this jam shit coming from? You know, I am very close to Georgia. I wouldn't mind picking up some peach jam. You know what I really want to get? And I saw all the billboards for it coming down to Florida. Peach bread. You know how good toasted peach bread would be with some real creamy butter? Fuck. Be like peaches and fucking cream. Jason's grandmother died or is that spam? Lefty Nero says peach bread is banging. Uh, yeah, with some real good creamy motherfucking butter. Yeah, I like raisin bread. I like banana bread. Beach bread has got to be fucking good. Rhubarb jam is best, hands down. That sounds pretty redneck or hillbilly. Yeah, some butter is better than others. Almond butter. Eh. I like um, what they call Irish butter, which is really just a, a fancy way of saying grass fed um, butter. If you can get grass fed butter, buy it. Because what fucks up the fat in a cow is feeding a cow grain. It, it Not only does it fuck up the fat that's in the meat, but it also fucks up the fat that's in the dairy. If you can get grass-fed, just like grass-fed beef is better for you, grass-fed fucking butter is fucking amazing. And... Um, not only does it taste good, um, but I've also heard that grass-fed butter can actually lower your cholesterol. It, it, it might be bro science, but, well, maybe compared to eating uh, grain-fed butter, it would lower your cholesterol. I prefer my meats wild. Well, yeah, Lenny does, too. He, he gets meat off Dixie Highway. Yeah, grass-fed butter is amazing. Sounds like some bro nonsense. Well, no. Well, you could. That's one thing about statistics. You could make statistics. If, if you know how to manipulate the numbers... You can make statistics say anything you want. And I just figured it out. When, when they say grass-fed butter lowers your cholesterol, they're comparing it to people that eat grain-fed butter. And I believe that. I don't think, I don't think eating grass-fed butter is going to lower your cholesterol compared to eating no butter at all. But if you compare it to eat people that are eating grain-fed butter, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Now, I watch Cassidy Campbell box. He looks like he knows how to fight. I just don't, I, I don't, something about Cassidy Campbell, 
and I've never met the man, but watching his videos, and I know he's trolling people in his videos, and that's what he does. I just don't find his humor funny. I find it fucking agitating and irritating. That, that's probably the, the boomer in me, but I don't like it. And if, if he is anything like that in real life, I would not like the guy. So I, I, I'm a little bit prejudiced towards Cassidy Campbell, even though I've never met him. He might be cool as fuck in real life. I do not like his videos. I don't find them funny. I don't find them entertaining. I, I find it complete junk. But I'm a boomer. And Love Miner, the ugly midget. Um, look, nobody's trolled Mark Love Liner harder than me. I, I, anybody wants to question if, if I like Mark Love Liner, um, judge me on my past. I trolled that guy harder than anybody. Um, and I like this Bruno guy, you know, he's, he's Prince Andrew's buddy. And, um, you know, I've been watching a few of these uh, Bruno, Bruno the ref videos. And I like Bruno, um, nothing against Bruno. I just don't like seeing as much as I dislike Mark Lubliner. Uh, I don't like seeing everybody pile on him. Um, I think that's unfair. No, no matter how much of a little douchebag he is, and he is, I just don't like seeing everybody pile on him. That, like, see, the, the art of being a bully is is sometimes you got to protect people that are being bullied because because that that. That's why you get away with what you do is because sometimes you, you do the right thing. And I just think that a lot of people are piling on Mark Lubliner that, that don't have any business doing it. Like, like, um, like Big Brad Wolf, for example, he, he posted some shit the other day about, about, my money's on Bruno the ref. Well, fuck you, Big Brad Wolf. Who have you boxed? Who have you fought? Who, who gives Big Brad Wolf credibility about anything? You know, clowns like that piling on Mark Lubliner. You know, it's not that I love Mark Lubliner. I just don't like seeing all the clowns um, come out of the fucking woodwork to pile it on Mark Lubliner. Like, I I order 66, Mark Lubliner, a long time ago, you know? So don't get me wrong. It's not like I love Mark Lubliner all of a sudden. Seeing um, seeing Big Brad Wolf, uh, you know, my make do it doing that post that my money's on Bruno the Red. Muslim Life reported me. Thanks, Muslim Life. I don't think I said anything bad about Muslim people in this video. Yeah, it just, it just irked me, you know, that Mr. Home Jim, Mr. Big Red Wolf, you know, 
put it out there that he's he's going to avoid me at all costs. If he knows I'm going to be somewhere, he definitely won't be there. But then he can go online and I don't want to say I feel bad for fucking lob, lobster boy, love liner, pocket liner, whatever you guys call him. Um, I just, I, I definitely do not like Mark Loveliner. Don't get me wrong. What I don't like is seeing everybody pile on him. And I think Loveliner would beat the dog shit out of Brad Wolf in a boxing match. Loveliner called you a drunk loser. That's probably true. So now you guys got to fucking spam him and say, you know, Jay Masters uh, was actually sticking up for you a little bit in his last live stream. Troll the fuck out of him. Really fuck up his head. Spin it around. Make him think we're friends. I can't see that Bruno dude doing any damage to even McCuck. McCuck's a pretty damn good little boxer. Um, I think McCuck would beat the shit out of Big Brad Wolf, honestly. What do you guys think? PJ intimidated you when you last met. Sad sight. No, the last time we met was at the podcast and we were, we were fucking cool. You're talking about Las Vegas when I was having fucking cardiac a fucking... I don't know what I would... I, I was not feeling good at that Olympia Expo. Everyone thinks I was afraid of PJ at the fucking Olympia Expo because I had to sit down... Uh, Everyone thinks I was hiding behind Kalura. No, I was 365 pounds. I didn't feel good. Probably down to three twenty five now. I'm starting to put some muscle back on now that I'm back to training. I'll bet I can bench press two. You guys think McCuck can bench two twenty five for five sets of five? Be good. 10th grade high school football workout. Can McCuck do a 10th grade high school football workout? 225 for 10, five sets of five. Fine. No, Bruno seems cool as fuck. I've always liked Bruno. I, I never knew what he looked like. I never knew anything about the guy. I just knew that um, he hated Jonathan Lemkin, and um, I, I I don't like Jonathan Lemkin either. Jonathan Lemkin is is I think of all pe all people in the fitness industry, Johnny Lemkin is is the one person that no matter how much we all disagree, no matter what side you're on. We, we all can agree Johnny Lemkin is enemy number one. I mean, is, is there anybody we should all hate more than Johnny Lemkin? I can't think of anybody. Can't wait to get a haircut. You guys think I should shave it all bald? Just...
that's the worst haircut I think I've ever seen or heard about in my life. This is real bad lighting. It makes it look like it's even thinner than it really is. Where's the comments, bros? What about Dr. Tony Huge? He is a good guy. Yeah, I got no problems with Tony Huge. He's funny as fuck. Tony Huge is funny. I like him. I met him at, at the expo. He's, he's great. He's fucking cool. Now, he... You know, he sucks dick. And he's not even in retirement. Like Kalura. He... You know, I, I follow Tony Huge on Instagram. And... When he poses with those those little Vietnamese people, I, I'm always looking for a bulge in the bikini. Like I, I don't think those are all girls. I think some of them are little boys that suck his cock. I can't agree with that. Ooh, my phone is hot. Dick Shooter just says, Aunt Jay Masters, my mom gave me a handy last month when we were drunk. We haven't talked about it. What should I do going forward? Asking seriously, I'm 18. Um, I think that's a good mom. I think what she was doing was um, making sure that his, his boy, um, you know, had a, a dick that worked. To, to save you from any embarrassment for when you get with an actual female who, who, who's not a relative and that you're able to get an erection and ejaculate and um, have a family. So I, I, I think I, I endorse what she did. I don't think you should talk about it because if you go asking for it again, she might slap your face because she was just looking out for you, making sure your dick worked and, and you weren't a fag and you knew how to come. You know? She wants grandchildren. She wanted to milk the cock, make sure you knew how to get hard and come. She was thinking about family. The fuck? Fucking disrespectful little piece of shit. Family. Now, if it was your dad who, who gave you a handy, I'd be a little worried. Seriously, Jay, why do you think you're so tough? I'm not. I'm 51 years old, bro. I'm going to be 52 in um, 
under a month. I'm not tough. I'm, I'm going to be 52 years old in two weeks. I'm not tough. I'm 52 years old. Come on. What, what, what's the peak age for an MMA fighter? I'm not tough. I'm 52 years old. So just stop right there. Now, am I, am I tough compared to other 52-year-olds? Hell yeah. That doesn't make me tough. Trust me. I'm not living in some kind of bizarre world where I'm tough. I'm 52 years old. Get over yourself. Quit trying to troll me. I can't stand the way these comments run. Do I have to hit? All right, the, here's a good question. Jay, the win says, Jay, thoughts on having a live-in girlfriend? Mistake number one, who is a disrespectful bitch and shit talks the man's parents. Here's the best advice I can give you. And I would do exactly what Big Brad Wolf did with his previous girlfriend. Keep the peace. You, you, you move out. You go do your own thing. What, what, what do you... What do you think? She's a live-in girlfriend, and she's already disrespecting you. So let me ask you a simple question. Do you think she's all of a sudden going to start behaving if you put a ring on her finger and give her more rights than she already has? I mean, that, 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 that's lunacy right there. If she's already misbehaving, putting a ring on her finger, I, I would I would just be easy to get along with, play along with it till the lease runs out, and then I would run. You don't need that shit. from the men that came before you. Look at all the men that came before you that thought, you know, she's just unhappy because she wants to be married. Look how many of those guys got fucked over. And then, and then other, other, uh, you know, the next level, you know, oh, she's just be in this way because she wants to have a baby. Look at me, those guys got fucked over. You're never, ever going to make a bad relationship better by ma making the relationship harder to get out of. The minute you make it harder to get out of, that relationship's going to get worse, not better.
J.C. Stevens says, that's a great point, Jay. He said that at 5 o'clock. What time is it? See, I can't. It must be happening to Dale right now. Uh, Dale claims that he's still married and they still live together. Um, whatever. Dale, Dale is so angry. Angry, angry, angry. That's no way to go through life. Right? Look at me. I got beat up by a fucking loser that looks like a sloth who has leukemia. And I'm fucking loving life. So being happy is what matters. Dale went out and bought that Harley. You know he looks stupid. Five foot six and a half on a fucking Harley. And then he went and bought that fucking girl's Mustang. I think I touched on this the other night. Look at that hair. I think I touched on this the other night. How um, in, in the late 60s, you, you had Mustang Coupes and you had Mustang Fastbacks. Basically, um, Mustang Coupes have a trunk. Mustang Fastbacks ha have a bunch of glass back there. And basically, a Mustang Coupe, like the one with the trunk, is a fucking bitch car. Uh, I mean, any any self-respecting man is going to get a fastback. So, Dale and Johnny Bravo went and got these gay little fucking Mustang fucking coupes. That, that, like, cute little cars you'd buy your fucking girlfriend. I mean, for crying out fucking loud. And Dale think that that's just the hottest car he's ever seen or thought about. Mustang coupes are so fucking gay. <coughs> See, I do good with cigarettes until I get a little buzzed. I have to piss. What's up with that car Dale bought? Like, I've seen fucking cooler Mustangs, you know, in fucking Mustang Barbie fucking play sets. I mean, he bought the complete bitch Mustang. Like, he must have bought that for his wife, and he doesn't want to admit it. Because you, you talk to most muscle car enthusiasts, the Mustang Coupe 
that's a fucking bitch car. If you don't believe me, ask your friend who's into muscle cars. Mustang coupes are bitch cars. I mean, especially the ones with the little motors, like the 289s and the 302s. Give me a break. You know, Steve McQueen was a man's man. And in the movie Bullet, he had a 390 big block fastback. He didn't have some little fucking candy apple red 302 fucking coupe. Come on. That's Dale. Or Johnny Bravo. Those two are fucking peas in a pod when it comes to being homo. so burned out with these live chat how did McLeod crash on his electric scooter McCuck electrified scooter didn't like Jan train to be a freak is in the house isn't it funny how, like, trying to be a freak is saying, sorry, Jay, I'm late. And, like, a few weeks ago, he, he was calling me the biggest fucking asshole on the Internet. It's funny how things change. What's up, trying to be a freak? Uh I need a cigarette. Do you think it's possible for Lenny to gain arm or leg size at this point? No, I really don't. Um, See, I can tell you um, all the injuries that, that Lenny has encountered in, in his weightlifting career, um, Lenny never went back to ground zero and started from scratch. Um, like my most recent pec injury, I, I I waited a couple weeks, you know, and I started with the bar and I, I, with my bench press, I did set, I did a couple sets of 10 with just the bar and I, I'm able to do full range of motion and I'm able to do it properly and I'm able to do a textbook bench press. Now, I might not be strong, but I'm able to do a textbook bench press. Whereas Lenny, I, I think Lenny, I think post-injury, and I'm not talking about just one. I'm thinking about all of them. Uh. I think Rhett Lenny never took the time to go back to ground zero and start with the bar and just do the exercise properly because Lenny's damn near 50 years old and he still can't squat to parallel and um, Lenny will say injuries ruined him and I agree but Lenny let injuries ruin him and what Lenny did is, is he hurried back to lifting heavier weights and what he did to do that was he sacrificed range of motion. Where I'm, I'm not doing that. Like my squats are perfect. Um, and 
shit, you know. I, I only squat 225, you know, but I do them perfect. I go to parallel, and, and my bench press is the same way. I, I, I fucking do them perfect because when you're 51 years old, doing those half reps like Dale does, like Lenny does, and like most bodybuilders do, that ain't going to cut it, bro. That ain't going to cut it. That's just going to compound your problems. So, it, I feel bad for Lenny because now Lenny's body is so tight that it, it would be almost impo possible for him to start over. Like, for me, it's... It, I, I do it all the time. I, I just think that, um, I don't know. I'm just a, a range of motion guy. I like doing full reps. Um, just, who really cares how much weight you lift? once you're over 50. It, it doesn't matter anymore. There comes a point when it doesn't matter. Like, let, Lenny, Lenny still, like old man Chuck, still wants to squat 405. And he goes down two inches. See what I'm saying? Big J, I can, I can squat 225 and go down below parallel and get more muscle activation than old man Chuck doing his stupid reps with 405. That's the secret to lifting when you're older. Is, is, who cares how much weight you're doing? You're 50 years old. You know, I mean, there's plenty of kids in their 20s, you know, that can't do back with me on hammer strength right now. And I'm still hurt. So, who do I need to impress? Nobody. Nobody. I mean, they're, they're, there, there's there's these young people that, you know, will never, ever squat 405. Ever. And I'm talking the squat, let alone bench 405. So I don't have to compete with them. I don't have to, I don't worry about that. No competition. It's a good looking shirt, isn't it? I need a new one. It's a hole in the armpit. Ooh, that smells. Yeah. You know, people like Big Red Wolf like to make fun of me because I, I lift with bands and chains. I'll tell you what. Since I tore my pec, I've been doing more bands and chains than anything. More in my life than ever before. During my rehab, I've been doing more bands and chains than ever before. Because you don't want the load at the bottom. But your triceps are still strong. And, and I'll tell you, when, when, when you're rehabbing a, 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 a torn chest or a pulled chest, whatever you want to call it, doing bands and chains... <clears throat> 
then you don't need to train triceps because training triceps when you're recovering from a fucking chest injury it is retarded like if anyone was to be like well Jay you could be doing skull crushers you could be doing push downs what? And, and then get my triceps so strong that I would overpower my pecs and then wind up pulling it again are you stupid no I'm not you train the exercise that you want to be good at. And you do variants of that exercise. And for me, it's the bench press. And that's why, even though I'm weak as fuck on the bench, I add bands and I add chains. Because at the top, I'm still strong as fuck. But that doesn't mean I'm going to go train a bunch of fucking triceps. See what I'm saying? Because it, if I go train a bunch of fucking triceps, then the next time I go and try and uh, bench press, my triceps are going to overpower uh, the weight and I could pull my pec again. I, I know to a lot of you guys it doesn't make sense. But it, it, maybe I, if I talk about the barbell row, it'll make sense. Why do so many bodybuilders tear a bicep doing Dorian Yates rows, which you guys know I'm against? I hate Yates rows. Stupid. Bodybuilders get these big, flashy biceps. And so they go and do their Dorian Yates rows. And when the bicep can overpower the back, you're going to get an injury. Guaranteed. It's just like the tricep overpowering the shoulders or the pec, you're going to get an injury. Anytime your arms can, can take over the fucking movement, you're going to get hurt. It, 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 it's, it's like if you guys ever watched a beginner, a novice or a beginner bench press for the first time where the, where the bar is all over the place, it's like a fishing pole. I mean, it's just all over the motherfucking place. That's because their arms are stronger than their core. And that's how people get hurt. But nobody wants to listen to me. I know nothing. And advanced bodybuilders who, who overtrain their biceps and then do Yates rows, they're setting themselves up for the same exact injuries that, that a beginner would get. And, and, and you, you, you can't talk to these guys because, you know, they're doing insulin and, you know, they got a sponsorship with a protein powder. And I'm like, dude, you're a clown. You're a complete clown. Yeah. Need smokes. I need a piss. I need smokes. What are we in? 